Nathaniel, Naif, Carl, Mimid, David, Bob, Stephen, Ying, Ethan, Scott, Matthew, Pilak, Andre, David, Mark, and Tom. Thank you very much, guys. Those are my Patreons. If you are a native English speaker, please tell me what do you call this. I will answer your questions in the upcoming uh, videos while building the airplane. And uh, looks like I will make a Q&A soon where you can ask me uh, questions. And I will sit in front of the camera and uh, talk and answer everything that you ask. And maybe I go live. I don't know. But now let's uh, focus on our project and start building. But there was a question from somebody who was asking like how to improve our skills on flying uh, RC airplanes or if there is any courses like where you can learn. Uh, no, there are no courses. Uh, I don't know, but there are no courses. And you can of course get yourself a simulator if you want. But in my opinion, uh, better if you if you want to buy a simulator, that means you will spend uh, up to $200. And in those $200, you can get yourself a cheap transmitter with the receiver and you can get like the motor, ASC, servos, you can get the battery, even you can get a charger also with that money and the best thing is to go to flight test and uh, buy those uh, ready kits where you can just buy them and build them at home or uh, download PDF if you have some foam board uh, you can just build it. My advice is learning in real life is way better because you will learn how to fly and you will learn how to build and yeah this is how I learned by the way uh, if you are going to build the airplane with me I recommend you uh, go watch the video called uh, how I make my plans it's here or here somewhere uh, click on it watch the video before so you know how I made those the sketches it's very important remember I talked about this glue and when you are going to use it for a long time, better to wear a mask. This is guy's mask. So yeah, for your own safety. I mean, it's fine, but you know, I don't want to sneeze the whole thing. point here the tail those circles they are going to be smaller and because on the from the top the whole fuselage continues straight let me remove my mask continues straight but from the bottom it goes like this that means here I had a mark where the curve starts from the tail curve and that means I will have to cut this and a little bit like give it, bend it, I don't know, um, seven degrees like this would be enough. Now I will stop here because first I have to install the rudder, the rudder and the elevator and then I can continue that. I think it's time to uh, install the nose. But before that I have to install the nose landing gear. 
that means I would have to cut the doors and install the whole thing install the cables and then I can uh, mount the whole uh, nose so now let's work on the nose all three tracks I think they're working And I made those, those are the wheels for the nose, they are a bit heavy but I have them and for the suspension. Oh, that is one. I went too deep and the spring is gone, smashed inside, good job. So this is going to be the base for the nose wheel and the whole gear should go outside the fuselage around 7 cm so that means uh, until the base I have 9 a uh, total of 9 cm we have to figure out how much from the nose to here or here ok let's take a look at a picture so this is the 737 MAX and we have to find out how much distance between the nose and the nose wheel. But first we have to scale the whole airplane because uh, it should be scaled correctly. Anyway, my airplane is going to be two meters. That means we have to find the two meters. It is 20, 23 centimeters. So 23, let's say by 10, there we go. Okay. Uh, 23 by 9, what is it? Also, let's say 23 by 8.8. 8. No. 23 by 8.5. That's, it. that's it. It's 198, that's fine. Some millimeters. So we have to multiply whatever number we have by 8 by 5. Uh, 8 by 5. 2.5. So 2.5 by 8.5. 21.2 centimeters. 21. 0.2 centimeter. This is the point where the wheel will come out. Here, 21.2. Can I just say something? I said that many times, and I will continue saying that. Uh, is that you have to have a big imagination when you are building something like that, because you will face so many challenges, and you it's like you have to sit think about it try to figure out a solution and yeah there are challenges I I had the same challenges all the time for example this one now like I'm stuck okay stop we have to think of something because this has to fit inside and it has to be a hundred percent straight so there are so many calculations stuff this is going to be straight and this has to be hundred percent straight with the correct height with the correct uh, distance so this is a challenge start with something very very simple and then you know it has to be here you know what i mean
perfect then all the gear is ready it's installed and uh, looks good i have to make the doors it's not so easy here because it's really tight but yeah <laughs> nice nice and it goes all the way in which is perfect look good we are making progress for the doors i'm going to use just three millimeters debron that should be enough the new ones for the flaps and some other stuff. And now we go find uh, another pool servo. I will be using this, this is from Freewing, that's the landing gear sequencer and I will mention something like that in the video description, something similar to this but it do the same job. That doesn't work, okay we have to find another sequencer, let's try this one. Gear in, close. Perfect. Don't close. Perfect. Ah, oh, yeah. Now when things get very complicated and uh, we would take hours to do this. So I turn on the cameras and then uh, we get back to what I did there. And they are, let's see, <laughs> ready? Here are the two servos. One, two. I am recording with the GoPro, I'm sorry guys, I cannot zoom. But two servos are here. And yeah. Not bad. Here because the wing is going to start here. I hate this mask. So I was right about the wings. The, the wings will start from here, about 75 centimeters or something. So yeah, the wing mount will be installed in here, and then we will continue those. But yeah, I think I think it's. Uh, is it enough for this video? Yeah, it's enough. Is it more than 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Or not yet? It's already 16 minutes. Oh, oh really? Yeah, okay. really. So, so yeah, in the next video uh, we will uh, we will uh, start uh, building the, the elevators and the rudder. And also I will make the wing mount, install the cables on the fuselage. And uh, yeah, maybe cover the top side of the fuselage that means we will have a 
strong beast now it's like wobbling like crazy that's fine because it's not supported yet and uh, yeah anyway i hope you learned something and again any question write it down make it short please <laughs> so next video hopefully next week that means if i will make four parts or five parts the maybe i can finish it in four weeks that would be perfect. Alright then, enough for today. And see you next week.